But in Brussels this month, a radical Islamic terrorist migrant viciously shot and murdered two Swedish soccer fans and gravely wounded a third person on the way to a sporting event. He did it for fun. He did it for fun. Didn't know him, did it for fun. In France, a school teacher and father of three was savagely butchered in a schoolyard. His throat was slit by an assassin shouting, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. And in London, Berlin, and Amsterdam, mobs of pro Hamas terrorist sympathizers cheered in the streets for the torture and murder of children. They, they were cheering for the murder of children. And we have them in this country. I mean, I hate to say it. We have that crazy Talib. Talib. We have Talib. Is she crazy? She's crazy. But you have AOC plus three. I call them AOC plus three. You have AOC plus three. And they've changed, and I will say this, they've changed the narrative to a large extent when you see some of these rallies that are cheering against us and cheering against Israel. Think of it. They're cheering like crazy for, for death to America, for death to Israel. And, and you wonder what happened to our country over the, last, over the last 15 years. Very dangerous. This is the sickness and depravity that Joe Biden and his open borders maniacs want to bring to America, and we will not let them do it. We're going to close it up, and we're not going to let them. And if you want to come into the country, you can, but you have to come in legally. You have to come in legally. A vote for Crooked Joe is a vote to turn the United States into a hotbed of jihadists and make our cities into dumping grounds, very much resembling the Gaza Strip. Have you been to the Gaza Strip? A vote for President Trump is a vote to secure the border, and it's a vote to keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country.